A cordial meeting was held at the San Ignacio and Santa Elena Town Council with the Town Council Administrator, Dr. Geraldo Flowers, along with the five newly elected People's United Party councillors. Love News spoke to Councillor Aaron Mai about what took place in the meeting. We are at the Town Council and we were given a tour of the entire building. I must say that they were very professional, a very they welcome us um, with open arms and so we have decided that we will be sworn in on Tuesday and we will have our first training on Friday. I, Councillor Aaron Mai, I received the highest votes um, from all the slates and so I am extremely humbled by the decision that the people have made. I give God all the glory. I believe that he was the one who brought me to these levels and so because of that I feel that my destiny is to serve people, not color, and so I assure the people them that election is over and I no longer see blue or red, even though I am under the People's United Party. I see people only, and so we ask you guys to give us the opportunity to serve you and show you what we can do. So once again, thank you guys so much for the trust, and God bless you all. No, we all know that um, last night, just after the, the, the um, returning officer gave all the, all the um, numbers and stuff like that, we were informed that a, that someone was on the compound at that hour. And we all decided to come this way to, to check who it was. And of course, we found find out who it was. Now, yes. what was your reaction when you find, found out that Mr. Um, Alberto Agas was on the compound this morning? Well, to be honest with you, we're hoping that we can get away from the nasty politics, the lies, whatever it is, whatever reason he was here, only he knows. And really and truly, we hope that these types of shady behaviors would cease because really and truly, we must, as citizens of this country, have the people's interests at heart. Whatever reason he was here, we hope that he did not tamper with anything. And we hope that it will be looked into because once again, we are hoping for accountability and transparency and so we ask the people from both sides to stop these illegal acts and let's serve the people genuinely because that's what they deserve reporting for love news from the san ignacio and santa elena town council i am elaine berry